Hello Year 9s and I hope you're all doing well. Um, I am here, Mr Davis, here to explain to you how we're going to start uh, our new topic of work. I know a lot of you have been studying about Russia recently, Russian Revolution, but well, we're moving now on to the beginning of our GCSE, our first GCSE examined unit, uh, which is about Germany between 1925 and 1955. Um, I know you have a lot of questions um, and please do listen carefully because I, I hope to answer a lot of them um, in this explainer um, but if you do still have questions please do comment uh, below the assignment in Google Classroom and your teachers will to answer hopefully those questions. Um, I wanted to start by talking about uh, well talking about your new GCSE uh, digital exercise book so if you look uh, in your Google Classroom assignment, you will notice that, uh, or your stream, that an assignment has been set with a digital exercise book. This is where you put your name. So, for instance, if I was to pick a name at random, uh, I would put this name, your form, the best form, obviously, in all of year nine, and your teacher. Uh, okay, and so that would be the front page. Or your exercise book. You'll then see here um, a checklist and this is what we're going to be studying over the next few months. In fact for you those of you worried this is something we'll be studying until July. Okay so do not get too concerned but uh, what is on here uh, should explain to you the things we're going to go through uh, within the next few months. Um, and week two we have we've started in week two we've started the first bit of our course but we'll be continuing on uh, in later weeks. And then you have here inquiry one, because this is the first big question. We normally ask one big question like pre half term. Well, for this particular GCSE course, we have three big questions. And our first big inquiry question is, how did Hitler and the Nazis go from the fringe to Führer? How did they go from the outside of German society to becoming deeply, deeply in control of all of Germany? And that's something we're going to look at over the next few weeks. So do not worry if you're not quite sure yet, because of course we're just starting our learning. And I want to start with this particular image. Okay, there's nothing you need to do with this image, you just want to have a look. There's something about this image that is a little bit shocking if you look closely. And for the eagle mind among you, you may have already seen that this is an image of Germany in 1935. And just behind what looks like a normal day, shopping day, the sun's out, there is a picture of a particular shop front with a Nazi insignia on it, uh, a swastika as we know, um, we know that image. And that image is of a Berlin street. And this is to show you that even in 1935, German society was already becoming uh, Nazified. The Nazis were taking over. Um, and we're going to ask the question over the next few weeks, as I said, how did the Nazis go from becoming a fringe, extreme element of Germany to becoming so central that you would see their flags on every shop corner. So today's lesson, today's lesson uh, and this week's lesson, this week's assignment is entitled Why was Germany so aggrieved by the Treaty of Versailles? The first activity is a very simple one. You need to go to your glossary in your digital uh, exercise book and you need to fill in the gaps for these particular phrases. And there's a challenge in your uh, digital textbook as well to do, which will really help you use those words, but you need to know them, okay? And this image is a very, very famous image. This is an image uh, of the Treaty of Versailles being signed, the end of World War One. And I like this image a lot because you can see the historical actors looking through the window into the future of not just Germany, but of the world. And ultimately what Germans see in that room, metaphorically here, is uh, something that they are aggrieved by. Uh, today's title, as I said, is Why Was Germany So Aggrieved by the Treaty of Versailles? Well, they were, and the reasons are going to come out. So in task A, what you would like to need to do is to read through this table, copy and paste it into your digital textbook. So you can do, can select all of that, copy, go into your digital textbook, which should be available to you. And underneath today's lesson title, which you should have already written in, you can copy and paste in this particular table. And within the table, you need to fill out the final sentence. So there's a sentence starts here that says, Germany could have been aggrieved because many, Germanies, uh, many Germans living in these lands 
uh, would have had to relocate. And that's a reason why losing territory would have made uh, certain Germans aggrieved. There's that key word for today's lesson. Okay, so you've done task A, you've hopefully got through these, and you move on to task B. Task B is a looking at the source here, and we're trying to draw, draw an inference from this particular image. This image here is an image of a mother and a child, although that child seems to be the image of Germany. The German mother saying, well, we won't be able to eat unless we pay a certain amount of money. And if you've read through task A properly, you'll understand what that refers to. So what you need to do for task B is you need to copy and paste this in to your digital textbook, uh, exercise book, sorry. And again, fill, fill out or finish the sentence starter. Do this before the next lesson title because that will be next week. So do make sure it's before the next lesson title so you don't mix up which weeks you're working on. Task C over here, again, you copy and paste the table. Okay. And this time, having copied and pasted the table, you need to read through this particular table. And this table here explains the different crises that Germans were facing during World War, oh, sorry, after World War One. So read through these and decide are they social, are they political, are they economic, or are they international problems that Germany faced? And then finally, task D, task D here uh, is an example of a Google form or a Google quiz. Many of you would have done these before, but it's a really good way to check your knowledge, check that you've understood what you're supposed to have learnt about. And so uh, this will be set alongside your assignment. Okay. So I just want to finish with a little summary of today's lesson. Now you should have done the activities. Hopefully you try to do them to your best ability. I'm not expecting everything to be done perfectly and you can ask questions of your teacher. But having done all of those and got a sense from task D where you're at with your understanding, you should have by the end have learned that Germans were agreed Germans, sorry, were aggrieved by the Treaty of Versailles because they felt they'd been treated harshly. And there were many reasons for that, and you should know them in a bit more detail than just that. There were partly uh, problems then that Germany faced because of that, but partly for other reasons as well that were political. So for instance, problems like the cat putsch or the Spartacist uprising, social, you had unemployment or you had the crisis of hyperinflation. Uh, causing real problems for Germany. Um, you had political, the, the removal uh, of the monarchy at the end of World War II was a political problem and the cat putsch maybe could be seen as another example or the Munich putsch even. And then international problems, the hyperinflation was caused partly by crises uh, to do with the money that the Germans had to pay back to other countries and that caused international problems uh, for Germany. So from today's lesson you should have learned those three particular things, sorry, four particular things, uh, four particular problems, and those uh, particular problems that Germany faced. Uh, we're going to know next lesson, we'll be looking at the solutions on offer for the German people to these problems. Uh, so please do make sure you've understood this, ask questions in the comments, um, and try your best to get through task A to D um, before next week. Take care.